I need to be justice to see if it's working. Hello everyone, I'm back again for part two. I'm still here, still in quarantine. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you, can you guess what it is? Yeah, you're right. It's the Air Max 90 Bacon. Along with two other pairs, the blue and the orange, home and away. As you can see, the concept of this new car is there to mimic bacon when it's cooked and when it's still raw. The designer of the sneaker was Dave Ortiz. Uh, he was based in New York and he had a shop called Dave's Quality Meat. Now the story behind it is mad. It is an OG pair and the history behind it is quite awesome. So Dave had to submit his design into Nike within 30 days and he left it to like near enough the last minute, the last few days and he didn't have the idea. So what he did was he went to breakfast and he, and he got a bacon and egg sandwich and that's when the idea just clicked in his head. So to go with the concept of his store, what they designed with these were, were the bacon and they mimicked everything that his concept of his store was all about. So his store was about looking like a meat shop rather than a sneaker store. It had, it had like ham hanging down from the windows, it had refrigerators, all the sneakers were packaged like meat themselves in different types of packaging and people used to go there and hang out. This was in like the early 2000s. So here I'm just going to show you the beauty of the sneaker itself. Like the inside of it, it's made of leather. It's like a beige leather colour and what draws to my attention really is the pink. Like I can't pull off like a lot of pink trainers but this one here just looks incredible. The top bit of it here is basically a rough type of leather which like other sneakers are smooth. She mimics bacon because bacon is not smooth. You have like rough patches in there and like patterns inside the meat itself. So the front bit of the sneaker is what it mimics. The base is brown. You have the night ticks here and you have like a lovely suede side here with a pink sole. Just, like, I didn't think I could pull this off, but when I match it with a load of clothes, it just, it, it just goes amazingly well. Like, it's so versatile as well. It's not like, oh, you have to wear a certain type of pink clothing or what. Like, when you step out on the road with this as well, it is an exclusive pair. I had to get one. So, this was re-released on, like I said, March 26th. The original OG pair, which was brought out in 2004, is going for on StockX for retail of £2,500. So it's talking about like say $3,000. Crazy amount of money. Crazy. And if you have got a pair of them, good luck to you. Like, like, that holds its value and it's been holding its value for so many years. So is it Air Max 90? You've got a brown sole. Got a pink air bubble which you can see through clearly. They are a very very comfortable pair of sneakers. You can wear them out all day. I haven't worn them yet, but they look very easy to clean. Comes with two sets of spare laces: a pink one and a burgundy one. I generally like to go with the ones that came with original sneaker, but obviously these are options. If I ever want to change them over. Just what a fantastic pair of sneakers is this? This is like history in my hand and on my feet. Every time I'm going out, every time I will be going out with these, I'll just feel special. Like, one, I know that not a lot of people will have it, so I'm quite unique. Second, it will be like turning a lot of heads, and three, just, there's, there's this great, fantastic history behind it. One of, one of Air Max 90's greatest creations. This sneaker was actually highlighted for one of the best designs of the decade.
you'd like to click through to the first part of my other video, please click on the icon, the information tag above. And let's get straight into it. The next type, the next two pairs. So these are home and away pairs. Like I don't like going for sneakers that are too common all the time with other people. So I thought I'll change it up. And when I saw these, and I, I started looking into them, I was like, whoa. So first of all, I bought the orange ones, which is like my first pair of orange trainers ever. I didn't, I didn't even know how, how it would work. And I liked it so much, that I bought the blue pair. So first of all, I want to talk about this orange pair of Air Max 90 Home and Aways. Now the concept of it is, is that when the front starts to wear away and it gets damaged, a lovely orange colour starts to peel off. You can see some of it back here. I'm not going to go and damage it, but the concept of it is when it does become damaged, then you will start to see some orange appearing. Now, the front is made of leather and you've got a small Nike key swoosh, not like the other Air Max 90s. Black, see-through air bubble, the bottom part, very comfortable sneaker. It's something that's different than the other Air Max 90s. Again, like I go for things that people are not always gonna have and they are not so common. I've never ever seen someone with these before, ever. So these are the blue ones of Home and Away. So on the tongue, you've got something that says Away and on the other pair, you'll have something, the right pair, you'll have something that says Home. Again, it's the same concept with the blue pair. So the front part is made of leather and you can see some blue in the cracks here. When it starts to wear and tear and when it starts to get damaged, behind it is like a blue coloring. So yeah, it's gonna look really cool. <laughs> you don't need to worry about creases because when it creases, the color is gonna come out of it and it'll even look better. That's, what it's, that's what's meant to happen. You've got a small Nike swoosh in blue here. Obviously a see-through air bubble. Nice sole, and the back is a blue Nike Air Tick, common on all the Air Max 90s, obviously. Blue laces, and what's cool with this as well, it comes with a home and away tag, which you can attach your shoe, or it's made for like luggage where you can put your obviously name and uh, address on the back. So with the orange pair, it also comes with a tag, home and away. You can also attach it to the sneaker itself. We can write a name, and it's a luggage tag, and put it in your luggage. What a cool concept. Just the concept of like fronts wearing off, and when they do wear off, like other colors appear. It's just amazing. Like, just the lever as well, the smoothness at the front of it. This is definitely pick up and the good thing of these is that they're not even that expensive I've got this for about a uh, hundred pounds and also got these for about a hundred pounds and they retail originally for about 130 so that's a complete bargain don't you think so